Hey there. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Till I Die. On today's episode of Till I Die, we're going to go and play classic Genesis game. As you can see, maybe you can see, that is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Genesis. Let's uh, pop that in and play some of that until I die. Here we go. died right there, because that was the first thing that went through my head when I started spinning. I'm like, you know, I'm going to probably die instantly. Jeez. Is there any game I'm not going to completely suck in? I think I just get nervous when the camera starts rolling. I can't play in front of the camera. That's it. I'm the worst person to put on and have a show like this on YouTube, because man alive. I suck. I suck. But, um, yeah, I mean, this was the first Sonic... This is actually... It wasn't the first Sonic game that I ever played. But it was one of the... I mean, this is one of the games that I played where I was like, Oh, I love the Genesis. It is so cool. It can do some things that, the, that, that none of the other systems can do. Um, you know, it's faster. The graphics are awesome. Uh, the, the parallax scrolling was amazing. The music was good, even. Um, it just... This game is awesome. I mean, it's really... Uh, a real, it's a no-brainer to see why the Genesis was a huge success, because games like this, I mean, Sonic 2 was such a great game, it was so huge, and it, was, it just took, it was the perfect timing. I mean, people had finally played all the way through the first Sonic game, they probably played through Super Mario World, people were just waiting for a new platformer, and Nintendo didn't make a new Super Mario World for quite a while, so here comes Sega with Sonic 2. Came out on Sonic Tuesday, if anybody remembers that, but yeah, I, um, Sonic 2 is probably one of my favorite Sega Genesis games. It's one of my favorite 16 bit games, period. I thought it was so well done. Such a good game. A lot of fun. And, oh my god. I'm just doing it. But, uh, yeah, Sonic games are a lot of fun. The graphics are great. I mean, a lot of Sonic games is just holding over and watching you fly through levels, which is awesome, but... Uh -huh. That's awesome. I mean, how fast that was going there with no slowdown, that's amazing. It looks so good, too. This is truly 16-bit power here. Sonic, Sonic Hedgehog 2. Oh, boss time. Yeah, I remember the summer, God, I don't remember what, maybe it was summer of 92 or summer, probably 92. Um, I had just gotten a Super Nintendo. I mean, I love the Super NES. It is an amazing, powerful system. And uh, I was going to stay with my nephew, who lives like across state, and he had a buddy across the street that had a Genesis. And I was going there for summer um, between school, I think it was like between like 8th and ninth grade or something like that. And, um... This guy across the street had a Genesis, and he had it for a while, and I had my Super NES for over a year already. And um, we had talked, and we are like, hey, let's just, you take my Super NES for the summer, and I'll take your Genesis for the summer. And that was like my first real extended amount of time with Genesis. Was, he had Sonic 2, and Mercs, and oh, all kinds of games. Alien Storm, I think, and, uh, and Streets of Rage, and the original Sonic 2, and so it was like... The first experience I had with the Genesis, and it was so awesome. And I thought Sonic 2 was just brilliant. And I'm going to stop talking now because this is some of my favorite video game music ever, right here. This is one of my favorite stages in any game ever. So I'm just going to blow through it.
Still, still get excited during that part. It's so kick ass. This level is just freaking amazing. Why can't Sega do stuff like this anymore? Although, I shouldn't say why can't Sega do stuff like this anymore, because I heard that the new Sonic Colors for the DS is awesome. So, if you are interested in a new Sonic game, supposedly it's great. Supposedly it's just as good as like the Sonic Rush games were. Or, uh, what was it, Sonic Advanced? Yeah, Sonic Advance on the GBA were really good Sonic games. Those are some fun stuff. Standing still in Sonic games just doesn't feel right. Like, you're doing something wrong if you're standing still waiting for something to happen in a Sonic game, at least in the 16 bit games. Going back to the coins. I am greedy when I play my Sonic game. I like to have as many uh, coins or coins, rings as I can. Oh my god, what just happened? Oh, what was that? <laughs> I've never, ever, ever, ever seen that glitch before. And I've played this level a million times. What was that? That was ridiculous. Off. Oh shit. Get up there. Not doing the water. I suck underwater with the Sonic stuff. And then I get all nervous because then the stupid countdown comes on. Dun, 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 dun. Not not my thing. Not doing it. Not good. <laughs> Sorry, Tails. Boom. Shit. Did I just say I was not doing underwater? Oh, Here comes all the fun countdown and is dying. You know, Mario never died from being underwater too long. Not until those damn Super Mario 64 games. You fucking stop it! I was above the water. Thank you. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear, but I was getting a little frustrated there. Because Sonic cheated. There's Tails. Where have you been? Thanks for that. Better just stop being a terrible guy. You're kidding me. What just happened there? Well, I think this is glitchy. I think it's been cheating. I think it cheated. I don't even count that as a true till I die. But because these video games suck, and I suck at playing them, uh, that was me playing Sonic 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Sega Genesis till I died, and I died, so. Puff. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time. Keep driving those cars.